welcome back sports gamers it's the natural got a franchise update for you guys the second one part two they did drop the one earlier and like i said before this is not gonna be something that's amazing these are just the franchise improvements that they're coming out with after our hashtag fix madden franchise was successful so there's not gonna be any ground shattering you know re total revamping of franchise that we all want but it's going to be just kind of like little crumbs that placate us until we can get to uh, uh the next year of the game which i believe franchise will be uh much improved in that one so let's kind of get right into these i'm um, starting right off with the cpu quarterback draft logic improvements um, when teams draft the first round quarterback in real life it's a sign of commitment from a team to a player saying we think you can be now at a face for organization so part of the next update, they've added new logic checks the CPU teams will use to guide whether they should be interested in drafting a quarterback when they're on the clock. So now they kind of evaluate that. Um, feature came directly for community feedback around situations where a rookie quarterback ultimately got replaced after their first season due to the overall being lower than the incoming pro prospect. So they're going to make this more realistic. When the CPU team is on the clock, they will now deprioritize drafting a first round quarterback if their quarterback starting was the first round pick in the last two drafts, if their quarterback was a second or third round pick in the last two drafts, has a normal dev, star or higher dev trait, so they'll factor all these things in whether or not they'll draft a quarterback. So lastly, if a team's start, current quarterback is over 35, the team will consider drafting a replacement. So um, this is good for people who, who play versus uh, offline CFMs and, and CFMs versus CPU. Um, making making it a more realistic experience. I personally only play online CFMs for other users, so this doesn't benefit me. But all those people out there that do play versus the CPU, um, this is a, a this is a you know a decent upgrade. Uh, nothing different, so the CPU um, can function more accurately, uh, more like real life. I know a lot of times people, the biggest thing people have is with the trades and unrealistic trades. So hopefully that's something uh, trade logic addressed as well. So this is for more for uh, me, commissioner uh, controls and stuff. Undo free agent signings. Commissioner is able to undo free agent signings in the off season directly through the transaction log. Simply click on the signing and revert it to send the player back to the free agent pool. These are all great for online CFMs. Like that's what I mostly play. Um, commissioner controls, team override settings. Uh, giving commissioners the league's the ability to turn off on allow users to keep individual settings for heat seeker, tackling ball hawk, switch assist. Um, and a lot of different things that people kind of requested here. They have some screenshots showing um, the team setting overrides and commissioner tools that they have now. And you guys have no idea how many years when I literally first started SGO, first went down to EA and all that. Like this has been, I don't know, like five years, six years I asked for this. What we're getting now, a lot of different game changers people asked for this five, six years ago that we're finally getting it after you guys it's, it was all you guys the, you know the uproar over the fixed madden franchise this this would not happen if the community didn't come together and was just fed up with the lack of franchise improvements so you guys got this but we wanted this years ago and there's many people that can verify that you know we sat there and gave a list of features you want this was this this was my number one feature i was like commissioners need to be able to have a, a centralized settings where they can control the whole league um, so it's good that it's finally added after the uproar um, commissioner draft tools commissioner will now be able to assign autopilot during the draft along with pause resume functionality this way events the next pick um, will skip any player who's on autopilot this is great especially for people who do franchise drafts that is the worst because for franchise drafts the commissioners have to sit there and individually skip every single team which is can be incredibly annoying for people who do uh, franchise drafts because the commissioner makes it sit there for hours he can't move if he has to skip people um so it's good to see that they make this easier um this this is good for regular drafts too uh, online cfm drafts but for franchise drafts the guys that do franchise drafts this is an amazing feature it is so helpful to commissioners so they're basically not glued to their seats for hours um they can kind of toggle um the, uh, the on and off away it make, makes it a lot easier um for that to skip people commissioner house rules play down and repeat play limits this is huge so they had this in um mutt but they finally gonna bring it to franchise and i was kind of pissed last year that we should have got this last year 
Um, so we want in sim leagues. This is definitely more for sim leagues where people where we you know want to see, see more like real football, and we actually try to run more plays, run the whole, whole entire playbook. You know, we don't want to just run the same five ten plays over and over again. But um, you can actually run your whole playbook. So this way, with this cooldowns, they can a commissioner can dictate how many times a play can be called in a game and how long a play must wait before calling the same play again. So they got ten. Uh, this I, I'm this I'm most excited about this more than anything. Now I'm curious: is this uh, across the board for offense and defense, or this is just offense? Let's see, super sound abilities, um, play cooldown limit, play call limit. Hmm. I'm interested to see do some testing how this affects defense. Like if you're calling three, four, cover two, uh, back to back to back, or you know a certain amount of times. Uh, how, how will that work? I think I, if you guys want, I can do a separate video just on this. I think this is the biggest thing uh, in this this update here. Another commissioner setting X factor customization restrictions. So they dropped that in the game with the last update where you can go in and change your X factor, but they didn't limit it in any way, which like they, they should have added that along with this one because it's been crazy in leagues. People just going in, changing all their abilities. Um, in the, the league that I'm in, PML was great. We actually have a, uh, uh, the commissioner set up a bot that will report when people change abilities. It'll actually post it in our Discord so people can't go in and sneakily change their abilities. Um, but now we don't need that because they can actually, the commissioner can set uh, only commissioners, any users or none because um, uh, they got feedback because people were pissed over this one. Which rightly so, that they dropped that update in there with no type of controls whatsoever in it. It was just... It's just uh, that was tough for the community to deal with. All right, and so uh, we want to also share you our final updates coming to franchise mode um, to arrive in early March. So they got some ones that are coming. Trade logic improvements. We're focused on delivering improvements to player and draft pick evaluations. Create more rewarding authentic trades. So that's what I was saying. Um, that was a huge one with the trade system and and pe people just every day you see people post online just totally unrealistic trades. So to have a dev note here as well to move forward on improved trade logic. It was important to acknowledge there wasn't a magic quick fix as a team. They reevaluated everything from our previous trade logic. Um, the goal of improving realism and establishing new baseline skills around player and draft pick values. Uh, and, and involving top community exploits around AI trades, like elite office alignment for late round picks, and looking for opportunities to improve or add new AI considerations. Yeah, that's really a big thing with the AI. I mean, I think just going forward with next gen, that's gonna be a huge thing. AI is gonna be key to uh, making games more fun, immersive, uh, we, we just need smarter uh, artificial intelligence. Franchise league history, adding a new tile where you can see the Super Bowl and key award winners each year your franchise include how many times team has won a Super Bowl and the franchise MVP, coach of the year. Okay. Uh, yeah, Madden 21, they will track every season of your franchise from this season. This is added forward. Any history prior to addition in the future will not be accessible. Um, they did not save Super Bowl scores and more things. Sp speaking about Super Bowls, uh, any, any league will have every season track tower. Speaking about Super Bowls, can, can we get a new Super Bowl celebration? Uh, that's supposed to be coming, right? I know that's one of the things. We'll be getting a new Super Bowl celebration in the league. So uh, that is it for this update. We'll be uh, coming to a Madden 21 near you. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this update and what things you would like to see added that have already that's not already on the plate that you like to see. There's still, I think, this franchise is a lot of work, and I think that's going to come Madden 22. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you appreciate our content here at SGO, like this video and subscribe now for more news, tips, reviews, and gameplay from all of your favorite sports games. Now, if you want to take your game to the next level with insider news, free games, and access to our private chat, join our Patreon in the link below and subscribe to SGO Insider today.